Good day YouTube, welcome to GJ Bricks, I'm Greg. Now today, I'm gonna share a set I recently acquired. You guys know I'm a bit of a Lego collector, a Lego fan, I, I like a lot of my old sets. I've come out of my dark ages recently and uh, playing catch up on a lot of things that uh, I've missed out on. And yeah, what, there's, there's a few lines I've, I've definitely missed out on. You know, my train stuff, I've missed out on a few cracking sets there that I'm being punished for in terms of pricing now unfortunately um, I've missed out on some other sort of sets that are right up my street but also in particular the creator expert line I was not into Lego when the creator expert line came into existence although well, I was into it but I was more building my technique at the time I wasn't really building um, I wasn't really building sort of anything like that I was just mainly building Technic and a couple of fun little sets from the Exoports line so you know having recently discovered the Creator Expert line and how amazing it is and what fun they are to build and how just stunning they look at the end of it there's one set that's eluded me in that for a while and, and you sort of go through the the history of the Expert sets and you've got like things like the Town Hall I'm not a fan of Town Hall I think it's just a big thing to me I, I, I've never it's never really jumped out of me. Now, if it came along as a bargain, I would definitely get it. But it's not one I'm overly fussed about acquiring. Um, we've got the fire station again. That was better. I think that was a much better set. I've, I've seen some really good executions on that one. I think that one is is definitely worth considering for me. Um, there's the original sort of dark horse that you love it or hate it, Market Street or whatever it was called. Market is it Market Street? Something like that which was the original kind of kicked it all off and it, it gets quite often slammed by people because it's just a bit of an odd bod set but you know you look at it and it's what started a whole series of builds from Lego you know don't give it credit it was something Lego did that was different that actually inspired an entire line of things that we enjoyed um, you know there was the Palace Cinema that was another set I missed out on until recently when I picked it up for a good price um, and then there's you know Brick Bank and and uh, Detectives Office two sets I've got Assembly Square, the Corner Garage and now the uh, Birch Books. But there's one I've always really 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 liked and it was one that sort of you know it's a bit I like the style of it I like the shape of it and I, I originally sort of when I first saw it I showed it to my wife and said how beautiful is this set I want to make a version of that set myself. And I want to do this, this, and this to it. And part of it was actually going to be a tribute to her and her sort of creativity and a business, having a kind of a flaw around her um, sewing business she was doing then, and also her event business she does now. And then you know, doing something like a bakery or a really nice sort of artisan um, cafe or something like that on the bottom floor, because we both love our food and we love that kind of style of. Of, of dining, we love going to Paris and things like that. You know, we've been. Oh, I've been to Paris lots of times, being from the UK. She's been once, had a had a lovely time, despite being very heavily morning sick. But the one set that has eluded me, that really inspired that particular conversation, was the Grand Emporium, and that is to me one of the best creator expert sets around. Feel free to write in the comments if you agree or disagree with me. I know there are sets that are more detailed than that. I, you know, you look at the Parisian restaurant and the architecture on that is so intricate, and the interior on that is great. Assembly Square is an absolute cracker. There's very little, you know, <laughs> the designers. You know, that was a ten-year set, and the designers put everything into that one, and it really shines and shows. Um, I think a couple of the sort of more recent ones, the Corner Garage and the um, Birch Books, don't actually live up to the standard of Assembly Square. I'm sorry to say. They're great sets, but they don't live up to that standard. But the Grand Emporium, to me, had really good architecture. It was really, to me, where I felt that the Creator Expert line was starting to really kind of find itself and really start to develop into what we know and love today and I, and I think it really shows and shines through in it personally I think that was better than the town hall and the fire station sets definitely so it's one of those ones though that on the market is really really expensive and here in Australia it's like seven or eight hundred dollars to buy a brand new in the box one um, to buy a second hand one that's been built is around sort of five six hundred dollars you know if you're lucky if you're really lucky you sometimes see it for you know five hundred 
but very, very rarely. So I actually managed to find a guy who was selling one. Um, unfortunately, he was a collector who sort of had a bit of an issue and, and had to sell a few sets, and this was one of them. It actually turns out in talking to him, he had three of this set. So I didn't feel so bad about buying it off him at that point. So that was picked up brand new in the box, Grand Emporium. Now, slightly squished box, not too bad. I have opened it up and double checked it all uh, to make sure it's all there. Because I'm going to build it. It's not staying in the box. I want to be clear on that. But I think this is, I think this is a fabulous, it, it really is grand. It is a grand emporium. It's, it's got everything it says in the name just by looking at the front of it. The architecture on it is, I think, lovely. I think it really starts to set the tone. And I did work out how to build one of these sort of from parts and stuff. And it was going to cost near enough the same as buying this. So decided, uh, you know, might as well bite the bullet. But yeah. Oh, sorry, the pet shop as well. I forgot the pet shop, which is again, I think the pet shop's actually a great looking set. Um, lots of detail, but I think outside it, great, great looking set. But yeah, this one you can really start to see where they started to really put the effort in on the interior and really starts to shine in. All these accessories with the, the dolls that go in the windows and drink dispensers and chandeliers and signage on the roof. And it's a real sort of evolution of these sets as you go through into into what became what we know as Creator Expert. So I was very happy to have picked this one up. I, I really feel like this is a milestone in, in Lego. For me, this set is, as I said, you can tell I'm gushing over it. I just love, I love it. I love it. I'm gonna stop talking now, I'm just, I'm waffling, but I'm just gushing because I think there's so much to love about about what they've done. And I do wonder if Lego was to revisit this set, what they would change in it other than probably making, you know, tiling the interior. I think perhaps that's something I might try and do to it to actually really sort of make it pop, do some interior stuff just to really kind of make it shine. But they've done a great job. You've got escalators in there. You've got shop windows. You've got three big fours, this beautiful chandelier. The great, I think the exterior is second to none. I think it's stunning, stunning. That's going to look so good next to my other ones. So I, I personally, yeah, a milestone in the Creator Expert line. And you can see like the branding is slightly different. They've got this sort of stud here. It's not quite as um, as uh, as polished as the new ones in terms of the design of the actual box. But I think it works. <laughs> you can tell there's so much in here. The box is actually bulging from sitting up like this. It's usually up on my shelf um, being kept safely away. But yeah. I I think this to me, milestone in Lego. I'd love to know in the comments if you agree with me or not on what I've just said. That was a bit of a waffle about the Creator Expert line, but I am a big fan of it. I'm a late, late person to it. Kicking myself over the fact I have to pay, you know, well, this actually was, what, two and a bit times the price it was RRP, which is not terrible for a set that was released in, oh, I can't remember what year this was released, I think it was like 2010? Something like that? It's probably on the box somewhere, where was it? No, it's the one number that's not on the box. But yeah, I'll check it after this now. No, it's 2010, I was right. Go me. <laughs> so a 10 year old set, two and a half times RRP, 2,182 pieces. That's not bad in my books. That's not bad at all for a set. I think it's fabulous. Really is grand. <laughs> anyway, let me know in the comments what you think. One set you've got, one set you've always wanted to own. One set you're glad I've managed to pick up because it's something I can pick up. Cross off my collector's list now. I did pay more than I wanted to, but at the same time, I got a brand new in the box version, which I'm happy about. This is me. I get to open this and build this myself. <laughs> anyway. I'm going to stop there. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit subscribe. I post regularly. Uh, here's a couple more links to some of my channels around the internet, my website, Pinterest, things like that. Go and check them out if you haven't found them. And I've got a couple more videos here I think you will enjoy. Thank you for watching, and I will see you again very soon.